Hi everyone, this is Pushkar from the Frappe Health team and in this session I will explain you more about the customization of the workspace. So let's log in. Once I logged in, I am navigated to this page and on the left hand side of your screen you are able to see all the modules and this is the workspace so for each module we will be having a separate workspace in the system so let's go to healthcare once I clicked on healthcare on the right hand side of your screen you are able to see the workspace and uh, the good part of this workspace is that this is easily configurable so let's see how you can configure the workspace so in case I want to configure the workspace then I go to edit once I edit all these components become editable or customizable so I'll just scroll down now this will allow me to redesign the workspace as per my own requirements or my own need so this is the chart which I have set up in case if you want to edit it then you can go here this can be just used to you know drag and drop the chart and this is basically for deleting, expanding, moving up and down so that's about the chart then in the next section we have different shortcuts so these are the shortcuts we already have so we have a shortcut for patient appointments, patients, healthcare service units, dashboards, patient history and healthcare practitioners so basically this will help you quickly navigate to those important doc types straight away from the workspace in case if I want to add a new uh, shortcut then I can just go here as soon as I do that I'm able to see the list of templates I choose shortcut then here I can see a short list containing doc types reports page and dashboard since we are going to link a doc type I just click on doc type then I go to sales invoice I'm giving it a name now in the next section I can set up some filters so let's say if I want to see only those invoice who are overdue then I can just add such filter here I can give it a color and I can just add so you can see that a shortcut has been added for sales invoices similarly you can add as many shortcuts as you want those shortcuts can be dragged and dropped as per your requirement if you click on uh, edit then it will again take you here and you can just change the configurations you are also able to delete expand shrink or change the sequence of source shortcuts then the next section is for cards here I can see different cards where we have masters, consultation, setups, consultation etc now similar to the shortcuts I am also able to delete a particular card, expand or shrink it or move it up and down I can also drag and drop a particular card if I am required to change the sequence and if I want to edit or configure the inner details then I can just click on edit I'm able to change the name I'm able to see all the doc types that are grouped under masters I'm able to see their link type their link to I'm able to add more doc types to it just by clicking on the button named add row I can give it a name I can mention whether it's a doc type page or a report and the doc type to which it is referring to there is always a button for edit if I go here I can just manage their dependencies their criterias even on the same screen if I go to settings then I'm able to see 
these settings here so I'm able to see the title sequence ID module since this particular workspace is restricted to healthcare I'm able to see it here if I go to dashboard I'm able to see the chart which has been added under the dashboard if more dashboard charts are created in the system you can just add them here by clicking on add row you can just select an appropriate chart give it a label and it gets added to your workspace you can also manage your shortcuts here just like we have seen in the earlier section you can just give it a type link to and its label link cards can be managed here so you can create a new card for your links and you are also able to update or delete any cards from the system you can also manage your quick links and assign the roles who are required to access the workspace so with the help of this video you can see that the customization is very straightforward and it's very intuitive because since it's navigation based uh, so i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll catch you up in the next one thank you